you have an Android phone, does its home screen look a bit old and boring and a bit too generic? Well, my name is Marco and this is my color screen and we're going to try and help you out with that. So welcome to today's video tutorial. It's a home screen or a screen of the day by Gary Arts and it is called Tackle. So if you are looking for something different, something that stands out from the general minimal clean modern look, then this is the way to go. Gary Arts has provided a very industrial looking grungy. It looks really cool. It's got that Fallout 3 appearance. It's got all those metallic looks. It's got those awesome looking buttons that can jump to whatever you want. As well as that weather and time look. Looks like it's actually turning around on the home screen. It's got a very cool effect. So if you'd like to recreate this home screen, stay tuned for our complete video tutorial. Let us begin. So starting off, we're going to be jumping into our nervous settings, but don't worry, you can still use SS Launcher or Apex, they work just as well. So starting off with our settings, we're going to hold down on the home screen and select the little wrench there to get into our nervous settings. From here, we're going to go into our desktop and then get follow into our desktop grid. Now I went for a 10 by 7 because I'm using a Nexus 4, but if you're using an S2, an S3 or any other resolution, I do recommend going for a 9 by 7. So when you, once you change that, you're going to select OK now. Your margins, you want them to be none. You want to disable shadows. Home screens, you're going to be only using one home screen. You want to disable label icons. You want to be able to resize all widgets. And widget overlap and overlap when placing, they do help especially if you're using a phone with a, a different resolution as the S2 or the S3 as yeah, you might struggle with resizing those UCCW skins. So we're just going to go back now. Great, so moving on, we're going to be going, you want to be disabling your dock. You do not need that. And now you're going to go into your look and feel. Only thing you need to change here is to disable the notification bar, the one at the top. But do not worry, if you still want it, you can go into use a gestures and buttons and make it, set it as a gesture or something just to if you say double tap you can show your notification bar but don't worry you can still swipe down and it will appear so that is our nervous settings complete if we go back now everything should be set up the way you want it remember if you've got any widgets drag them into the x at the top and you're ready to start adding or changing your wallpaper great so for the wallpaper it's really easy to set up you just need to hold down on your home screens and then go into wallpapers now, if you're using the S2 or the S3, I highly recommend just going into either using Quick Pick or just your simple gallery and then just setting the wallpaper that was included in the folder. However, if you're using a Nexus 4 like me, I had to resort to wallpaper wizardry because for some reason my Nexus 4 is still having trouble with resizing wallpapers and it does a funny jump thing and makes the wallpaper look terrible. So you just need to select this back button here. You need to show you all your folders here. And you want to look for the one called tackle then you just need to select the tackle underscore wall png select it like this you just need to go set now what works well is if you select stretch and then stretch portrait you want to select no scroll and it should set the wallpaper for you it might be a little squish but it's actually hardly noticeable and the icon still fit perfectly great so there's our wallpaper done so next we'll be moving on to the uccw widgets Great, so for the UCCW skins, we're going to be holding down on the home screen, selecting widgets, and you want to scroll to the almighty app we call UCCW. So once that's selected, you can select any size, as it does not matter, you'll be resizing them anyway, and you want to select use up at the top. So from here, you want to, remember, you want to go into the folder that you've copied onto your phone, the one called Tackle, and now here are two use ups. Now I'm going to be starting off with the with the info one so you just need to select it and then select yes if you've already imported it and here it is right here now remember if you get a white block to just drag it straight into the x at the top get rid of it and then re-add it so we're just going to select the hand now and i was lucky with this one it worked out well but remember if you get a white box drag it into the x open up uccw again and then select it from the list or the list of all the imported skins that you've already imported remember do not re-import it so you want to resize it to the whole width like that but as you can see for the nexus 4 it doesn't look too good as it's a little bit lowered down so we're going to be selecting it you want to select this background here it'll bring up your select objects and you want to select common controls and then position this is going to be moving all of it at once you can select faster movement for faster movement and you want to select up once let's just see how that looks perfect we next we'll be moving on to the weather skin 
So you're going to be doing exactly the same thing. You're going to be selecting widgets, UCCW, you want to go into your tackle weather, and once it's been added, just to resize it to get it looking good. Remember, it's going to be a bit lower down if you're using a Nexus 4, so you want to go back into your background. Common controls, faster movement, one up, perfect, just like that. Remember, white box, you have to going to be re-adding it, not re-importing it. So that is our UCCW skins complete. Next, we'll be moving on to the icons. Great, so for the icons, they're really easy to add. You just need to hold down on the home screen and select apps. Now, what's great about Nova Launcher is that you've got this little button here called Select Multiple because now you can add all of the icons in at once. So for here, we'll be just adding in four. We're going to be selecting our Gmail. You can go for your messaging. You want your phone. And then finally, your settings. You want to select that. So I'm just going to select Add. It's going to add them all onto the home screen. And now you just want to place them in like this. Settings at the top. You can put your phone over that icon your messaging over that one and then your mail over that one. Next you want to be adding in your app drawer. So to add in an app drawer you just want to hold down the, on the home screen. You want to select Nova Actions, App Drawer, just like that and then move it down below here. So it's going to hold it down and then drag it like that. So it should line up perfectly like this. If not you might have to change your grid size settings or even your horizontal or vertical margins. Nearly there, so all we have to do now on each one of these, you just need to hold down, you want to select edit, and then select the icon. Now from here you want to go into your, either your gallery or your quick pick, and then find that tackle folder that you've copied onto your phone. Now you just need to remember what icon it is, so for the phone icon you're just going to be selecting the phone, you're going to select OK, and then select the tick and it'll change it just like that. You want to be doing it for all of these, so we'll do it once again. Let's say for the messaging, just select the icon. You want to go into your quick pick and gallery again, and then look for the messaging one. Let's go for text. So you're just going to select OK, and then select the tick again. Let's repeat this for all of these icons. Great, so there's our home screen complete. Remember, if you're getting white boxes, to remove them and then just select them from the UCCW list. And if your weather isn't working, you want to go into your UCCW settings, you want to go into your settings like this, menu settings, and then change your weather provider. So you'll go into your weather provider, and then change it to one or the other, then simply remove the skin and re-add it, and it should be fixed. So, thank you very much guys for watching, please subscribe to our channel, as well as check out our Facebook, Google+, and Twitter communities. So, thank you very much guys for watching, this is Marco from My Color Screen, and as always, don't stop customizing.